Good afternoon and welcome to our Wednesday midweek prayer meditation time. My name is Reverend Ronnie Kenny. I'm the assistant minister at Unity Orlando. And Susan Francis, a prayer chaplain and board member, and I are going to be taking some time with you today. So if you will, just sit back, relax, enjoy some quiet time. Susan will come in and do a reading from the Daily Word, and then I'll come back in and, and lead us all in a meditation. So let's begin. Good afternoon. Today I wanted to read um, the Daily Word. It's actually today's Daily Word, and it is Pray for Others. I pray for others knowing that we are one in spirit. So remember that all people are interconnected, relying on one another to live, grow, and survive and thrive. I remember this truth as I pray for others, taking part in humanity's innate urge to help and offer encouragement. I hold thoughts of peace, prosperity, and health for my loved ones. I expand my prayer to my friends, community, country, imagining all people <clears throat> expressing their divinity. I extend my prayerful focus to other countries, envisioning peace, harmony, and mutual cooperation. It is my privilege to hold the high watch and pray for my human family. I am part of a sacred trust and my prayers are leading all people toward their highest and best good, awakening to their divine identities and shining their lights. So today's scripture is from Romans 12:5. So we who are many are one body in Christ and individually we are members of one another. And so it is. And now we have Reverend Ronnie for our meditation. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. And so as we begin, and we're going to incorporate the praying for others into first realizing, remembering, actually, who we truly are. I'm going to start off with reading a couple of short quotes from Course in Miracles before we go into the day into our meditation. The first one is, Spirit am I, a holy child of God, free of all limits, safe, healed, and whole, free to forgive, and free to save the world. That's Lesson 97. And the other is, Deep within me is everything that is perfect, ready to radiate through me and out into the world. It will cure all sorrow and pain and fear and loss. Lesson 91. So now let's just take a, take a nice deep breath. And as we release that breath, we, as normal as like we do do in, in meditation, as we turn our attention inward, to that part of us, that sacred place within us where the presence of God always resides. Where when we are aware in the present moment of this beautiful place within, where there is peace, where there is serenity, where all the problems and issues and fears that we carry with us during the day, we can leave them and move to this beautiful space within. And so that's what I want you to do right now, is to let, let the cares that might be weighing on your shoulders Concerns perhaps for family members or fears, difficulties, challenges, health challenges, all of those things that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't realize the toll that takes on us. So again, take a nice deep breath. Oh, and as we breathe out, make it a strong breath. Oh, and let those things go 
for these few moments at least. And as that music moves through our ears and into our body, let it soothe those places within. Let the truth of your being, the truth that I, you, we are God's special children, all of us. We are children of God, beings of light, connected one with God. God, we are a very part of God, a very part of God. And so within us, when we come to this awareness within that ever-present vibration of unconditional love, that space where we are free of our burdens and are willing to accept the truth of who we are, one with God, with all of the possibilities that God has. When we come here and we connect with that presence within and we are one, we allow the very essence of God consciously to, throw, to flow through our bodies. To become, we become unique expressions of the light, of the love of the peace that God is. We focus on those energies, those positive, loving, peaceful energies of God. We think of all of the qualities that we are reminded of God, the power, the courage, the strength, the wisdom of God. And that is all within us that we can access when we turn within. Everything is possible. Nothing is impossible with God. And when we unite with that spirit within, we are very holy. We are one with that God. There's nothing that that holiness cannot do. And so from here, from this presence, from this energy, vibration within, we pray. We pray for others. This is our best chance of making a difference in someone else's life. From this space, not from the human space, from this space right here. So here we bring up the names, the, the images of those we love, those we care about, those that we've been praying for. They may be hurting, they may be ill, they may be sick, they may be filled with sadness for what is going on in their lives right now. From this space, we see the energy, the love, the peace of God spread over their very being, putting them in a place of more open to God's presence, easier to make decisions, to see the right path for them. It may not look like we think it should, but the right path for them to make a choice, to receive their healing, whatever that may look like. To be willing to allow God into their lives. 
that's where they are. To be willing to believe there is more than just this physical existence. So much more. To be willing to allow peace in their lives in the midst of perhaps chaos. To allow God, to allow love, to allow light to spread at least in their own very being so that they can better handle whatever it is is in front of them. We pray for our pets. We pray for those that we remember that maybe we haven't seen in a while and their name comes to mind or their face. We lift them up. We don't know what they need, but God knows. So we bless them. We send them peace. We send them grace. We see them filled with light and love. And those that are having challenges and difficulties that can't see their way out, we see God moving in them in ways that they can't even imagine, and neither can we. But we know that it is the Father's good pleasure to give us, all of us, the kingdom. So we see them allowing this, not knowing what may be making them do that. We let God make the choices. We acknowledge that we don't know. We don't know what is best, even for ourselves sometimes. So we pray for the best and the highest and the good for others. And again, it may not look like what we want, but then we pray for the strength to trust that you, God, have a bigger plan than we do. We see this much. You know the big picture. So we trust even when things happen that we don't perhaps like or want. We trust, we be patient, we wait for your bigger picture to unfold. And we ask for the grace to be able to do this. We ask for more faith. We believe, oh God, help our unbelief. We lift up again our country and all that's going on. We ask for your peace to spread throughout each and every one of us in ways that we can't see. We ask for guidance. What is ours to do? What is mine to do in all of our situations? If we have choices to make, we ask for clarity. If we don't get clarity, then we get to choose. We'll be guided. That's not the right choice. We trust. We trust in you, O oh God. We know that you love us, you know, we know that you are the light of our world. And we are so, so grateful. We are grateful for the blessings. We are grateful for the gifts. We are even grateful for the tough times, even though help us see the rainbows in the tough times. Help us see the light in what appears to be the darkness. You are our rock, O oh God. And we are thankful, grateful. We love you. We are so blessed. So we say thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Amen. 
So thank you for your presence with us today. Thank you for being a part of, of our afternoon and a part of our church if you are. And if you're not, we invite you. You're more than welcome to, to, to join us. This weekend on Sunday, I'm actually doing the talk. And the talk title is Draw That Line. So come and see what we have to say about that. We're continuing to collect food till the end of September for people that are in our church, people that we know that perhaps need help or in our community. So you can bring in dried goods, canned goods, um, either on Sunday or Wednesdays and until the end of September. Then we're going to stop for a little while and start again when the holidays are here. And just to remind you that we all do wear masks on Sunday when we're not those of us on the platform dome, but once, once we're down in our seats, everyone who comes to church wears masks. We isolate. We have rows marked off. You are safe there. And just know that when you're ready, when you feel ready, we are welcoming you with open arms. No hugs, but open arms. We'd love to see you. And so for now, let us close with a prayer for protection together. We say, the light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. And the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. And all is well. See you soon. Thank you.